Operation Desert Dragon. An unknown terrorist group has taken over the Japanese embassy in Caracas, Venezuela, during a party being held for visiting Japanese dignitaries. Your mission is to subdue the terrorists and rescue all of the hostages. The terrorists have separated the hostages into two groups. It's important to take out the terrorists guarding both groups at the same time, so that they won't be able to alert each other. These hostages are all prominent political leaders, so be careful. Losing any one of them would cause all sorts of trouble. This mission reminds me of the operation at the Japanese embassy in Peru back in 97, when the embassy was held for four months. With luck, this will be resolved a lot faster than that. You're the best of the best. Remember that. Alpha, go! Contact! Come on, come on! Threat Take neutralized! Down. Move it, move it! Threat neutralized! Move it, move it! Threat neutralized! Tango down. Mission success. Objective completed. Operation Silent Ace. An unknown terrorist group has seized an Italian cruise ship anchored near Tunis, Tunisia. High explosives have been detected on board, and two passengers have been taken hostage. A night assault is Rainbow's only chance to safely extricate the hostages. Your mission is to disarm the bomb and liberate the captives.
The Re de Tuto is a 100-meter luxury cruise ship designed for an elite clientele. We've located two bombs aboard the ship. Now both have been placed on the third deck, with one in the ship's casino and the other in the bar at the other end of the vessel. They're both well guarded. The hostages seem to be held somewhere below the main decks of the ship. Get in, disable the bombs, and then get those hostages out alive. The terrorists have started posting their ransom demands for each passenger. And if we don't wrap this up quickly, matters could get extremely complicated. With the information we've got, the resemblance between a 1985 cruise ship attack and the one we're looking at now is too close to ignore. We still don't know who these guys are or what they want, but they're well organized and well equipped. This one is important, folks. I'm counting on you. Objective completed. Objective completed. Lead the way. Now. Lead the way.
Mission success. Objective completed. Operation Copper King. Terrorists have crossed into the town of Loyada in Djibouti and captured a school bus full of passengers. You must stop the terrorists without any casualties among the hostages. Your mission is to prevent the bus from crossing the border. This mission requires absolute stealth, followed by quick, decisive action. The terrorists must be stopped before they can get the bus into Somalian territory. Once it crosses over, it's going to be impossible to get it back without a major international incident. Reports indicate that the hostages have been tied up in the back of the vehicle. We're also told that only one of the terrorists is on board driving the bus, and there appears to be others in the surrounding area running interference. We're starting to get a picture of what's going on here. We strongly believe the current situation to be a recreation of a historic rescue made in Djibouti by the French. Coincidence? I doubt it. We don't have hard evidence to back up our copycat theory, but it seems to fit the available data. And if so, that means we'll be dealing with another aspect of the same terrorist organization. If the terrorists successfully get the bus into Somalia, the risk to the hostages' lives will be greatly increased. We don't want to start a border war over this one, so you're going to have to move fast. And just to make things more interesting, the hostage takers are demanding not money this time, but weapons. If the government of Djibouti gives in, odds are that they'll see those guns in gorillas' hands, and we'll see them the next time our copycat hits. have radios. If they see you, that's it. What? Huh? Intruders! Mission success. Objective completed. Operation Course Blade. An unknown terrorist group has captured United Nations peacekeepers in Nigeria and is holding them hostage in their jungle-based camp. The terrorists are heavily armed and well prepared and they are most likely expecting an assault from foreign forces. Your mission is to neutralize their anti-aircraft weapons, liberate the hostages, and capture the group leader alive so that he can be interrogated. It seems that our terrorist group has gotten comfortable in Africa. All of their other attacks have been extremely clean. 
and this one looks like no exception. We need information on these groups, and we need it now. A recon team located the most likely candidate for leader of this particular group. We need to capture him alive. A thorough interrogation should reveal what these terrorists actually want, as opposed to the rather scattershot demands we've been getting. This operation will need to be an all-out assault on the revolutionaries' jungle base camp. The terrorists are heavily armed, and their base is well protected. We'll need to get the hostages out by air, so taking out their anti-aircraft emplacements is extremely important. Peacekeeping convoys in this area are often attacked for their vehicles and weapons, but it's rare for the guerrillas to take hostages. An attack exactly like our current situation took place in September of 2000, when a group demanding the release of their imprisoned leader held 11 UN peacekeepers hostage in Sierra Leone. Intelligence has concluded this to be yet another reenactment of a previous terrorist crisis. But the motivation behind this and the other attacks remain a complete mystery. Our only hope is that if we get our hands on their leader, we can get some answers. Objective completed. Mission success. Objective completed. Now? Operation Spirit Clasp. Terrorists have taken control of a hospital in Pattaya, Thailand, and are threatening to execute their hostages one by one if their demands are not met. Your mission is twofold. First, you must intercept a communication link from the terrorists to their home base before they have a chance to break the connection. Second, you must eliminate the terrorists and liberate the hospital. The intel team is just now catching up with our real enemy's maneuvers. It seems he's been one step ahead of us the whole time. We may be able to locate the copycat, that's the name Intel's been using for the figure behind the assaults, if we can pull the connection data from one of the mobile communication units the terrorists use to contact him. Our targets will break the connection at the first sign of hostilities, so the team going after the device must be as stealthy as possible. Gunplay will alert the terrorists, and they'll likely sever the link immediately. There are still some medical personnel in the hospital, so watch your step. The Thai government has expressed a wish that Rainbow handle this operation, perhaps because there are still repercussions from the 2000 hospital seizure in Ratchaburi that this assault is clearly modeled upon. Furthermore, the top of the terrorist list of demands is that the Thai government turn over a pair of officials implicated in some of the recent violent crackdowns on protesters, and they don't want to get anywhere near that situation. We have learned from Kautingu Safaniya, the captured leader from the Nigerian mission, that there is in fact one man orchestrating all of these terrorist reenactments. 
Our target calls himself the Copycat, and he supplied Safania with arms and cash to perform a very specific task. Safania was paid handsomely to capture the peacekeeper convoy and hold the hostages at his camp until further instruction. He was also told to expect rainbow intervention. Safania also claims that he was told that his people could keep anything they managed to capture, either from the UN peacekeepers or from downed rainbow team members. Apparently, the copycat didn't care about the hostages or the loot. He just wanted to test Rainbow, and perhaps to expose it. Safania also informed us that the copycat communicates with his hired mercenaries prior to every attack through a mobile communications unit. The terrorists deactivate the communicator at the first sign of assault, and the connection is lost. The mobile unit will have to be intercepted while still active so that we can trace the signal back to its source. This one is important, folks. I'm counting on you. Alpha, go! Got Objective Activate. completed. Mission success. Objective completed. Operation Golden Song. Terrorists have seized a Dutch high-speed train taking its passengers as hostages. The train is currently halted in a small station near the German border, and the local authorities are trying to negotiate with the hostage takers, who have refused all attempts so far. Your mission is to free the hostages and escort them to safety. 
Our copycat is at it again. He's not as smart as he thinks he is, though. We were monitoring his communications, so we already had the team in place when they made their demands for Rainbow. We can be sure they weren't expecting us to respond so quickly, and we'll use this to our advantage. We've already pinned them by cutting power to the rail line. As I noted previously, the terrorists are demanding that Rainbow, and only Rainbow, be dispatched to the scene. Fortunately, this demand was made only through channels, which is a win for us. The world at large simply knows about their ransom demands. The Dutch government has therefore requested us, and it behooves us, to move quickly before the terrorists decide to share the news of Rainbow's existence with a wider audience. Just to make sure we know they're serious, they've already shot the engineer. No one else has been hurt so far, but the clock is ticking. They have people stationed inside the station, as well as in and around the train. Getting on board without being noticed is going to be difficult, but there's no other way to do this. If they find out you're there, they won't hesitate to execute hostages, and we're going to have a lot of explaining to do. Let me reiterate this. These guys are extremely professional. They clean up after themselves, they don't leave clues, and we don't have a handle on why the copycat is having them recreate all of these incidents for him. It can't be for the money. With the firepower and expertise they've got, they could have picked easier ways to cash in. What we do know is that copycat's people are pros, they're experienced, and they're good. If I had to hazard a guess, I'd say they're mercenaries hired to play terrorist. I can't think of another scenario that makes sense. Got a lot of people watching this one. Don't let me down. Tango's in sight. Bravo, go! Threat neutralized. Green sniper, target acquired. Gold sniper, target acquired. Sniper, sights are cold. Mission success. Objective completed. Operation Blunt Scroll.
Terrorists have seized control of an airport outside of Mombasa, Kenya. After landing in a cargo plane, the mercenaries stormed the terminal and took a group of students on holiday as hostages. Your mission is to rescue the students and escort them back to the extraction zone. It seems we may have discovered who our copycat is. A news helicopter surveying the operations in the Netherlands spotted someone in a nearby abandoned building observing the scene. We were able to identify him from stills taken from the news footage. His name is David Newcastle, and he's a former member of the top UK counter-terrorism unit. He cashiered following an incident in 1998 in which he tortured and killed captured terrorists. And interestingly enough, at one point he wanted to join Rainbow. Intel's looking at his dossier right now. Newcastle must have figured out we were monitoring his communications and changed his system. That means we're in the dark again. We never saw this one coming. The mercenary team that has taken control of the airport is extremely well armed. They have body armor, and they've got sentries placed at all access points to keep anyone from getting close. David Newcastle was an assault specialist for the National Crime Squad when he was recruited by the SAS. He is a real professional and was one of the best soldiers in his unit. From the file we retrieved, he knew about Rainbow's existence and wanted badly to become a Rainbow Team member. After a hostage rescue mission in Gibraltar resulted in the capture of three terrorists, Newcastle proceeded with their interrogation solo. Afterwards, two of the terrorists needed emergency hospital care for everything from broken bones to severe lacerations. The third was already dead due to blunt trauma to the head. An autopsy revealed multiple broken ribs, a collapsed lung, and several suspicious-looking burns. A subsequent psychological exam on Newcastle revealed aggressive tendencies bordering on psychosis, and he was relieved of duty. Shortly thereafter, we lost track of him and didn't see him again until the Netherlands Ops. He's had intense counter-terrorism training and is now using it against Rainbow. It looks like Mombasa is supposed to echo in Tebe. We know that Newcastle studied the operation intensely in his SAS days, and it seems he wants to test Rainbow against what he thinks he's learned. Let's get back in one piece. Contact. Alpha, go! Go, go, go! Take move it! it. Lead the way. Lead the way. Escorting hostage. Uh, 
Lead the way Mission success. Objective completed. Operation Broken Scepter. After arriving in Milan, Italy for a conference, the United Nations Secretary General Lord Nigel Cameron was taken hostage by operatives believed to be working with Newcastle. Cameron was captured in his hotel just prior to leaving for the conference, and is being held along with some of the hotel staff. Your mission is to rescue the UN Secretary General and the other hostages. Newcastle is getting desperate. An operation like this is extremely risky, and four Italian police officers have already been shot. This has the local government howling for blood. We're going to have to move fast before someone decides to take matters into their own hands. The only reason the Italians haven't already made an assault is that the UN is holding them back. The Italians did a nice job of extracting Brigadier General Dozier from that apartment building in Padua a few years back, but this situation is a lot touchier, especially with the local casualties. Make sure the Secretary General survives without injury. He's been the key factor in the current round of talks between the United States and China, and losing him would be a major setback. You don't need to be reminded how fragile those talks are. The bad news is that Newcastle himself doesn't seem to be on the premises, but odds are he sent some of his very best people to handle this. Getting Cameron out past them would be a slap in the face to Newcastle. Further research on Newcastle's activities has come up with a fairly accurate picture of what he's been up to since washing out of the SAS. He's been working as a mercenary, taking contracts from around the globe. The bulk of his work has been in the Middle East, but he's taken work from all comers. Our best guess is that he's been using the work to bankroll his attempts to stockpile weapons and resources in order to take revenge on Rainbow. Now it seems he feels like he's in a position to stop preparing and to act instead. I don't need to tell you how high the stakes are now. A blunder on this one, and Rainbow could be exposed, discredited, and disbanded, and that's exactly what Newcastle wants. He's forcing us into these high-profile situations, and it's not a tenable place for us to be. If we don't catch Newcastle soon, the odds just might catch up to us. As for the UN Secretary, General Lord Cameron, He's been mediating the current round of conflicts between the American and mainland Chinese governments, trying to maintain peaceful relations. His efforts have kept a bad situation from getting worse, and without him, we might well be headed for another Cold War. Got a lot of people watching this one. Don't let me down. Alpha, go. Come on, come on. Threat neutralized. Go, go, go. Move it.
go down. Ah! It's okay. You're safe now. Escorting hostage. Run! Run! Uh -oh. Bravo, go! Delta, go! You're safe now. Am I, I safe now? Mission success. Objective completed. Operation Empty Cloud. Intel projections indicate that Newcastle's mercenaries plan to capture American athletes during the 2004 Summer Games in Athens, Greece. Olympic security forces were informed of the attempt and were able to prepare for the assault. While this allowed them to keep the athletes safe, the terrorists discovered the trap and took security personnel hostage instead. They then retreated to the convention center next to the Olympic village. Your mission is to rescue the hostages and neutralize Newcastle himself. It would seem he is personally taking part in this operation. Rescuing Secretary General Cameron was more successful than we had hoped. While being held by the terrorists, Lord Cameron was able to overhear a couple of them discussing details of their next move. Furthermore, 
he was able to confirm that Newcastle did, in fact, take part in the kidnapping. Intel was able to piece together what Cameron overheard with Newcastle's modus operandi and came up with a logical projection of what he was going to do next. We guessed Munich, 1972. And we were right. Anticipating Newcastle's plan to take athletes hostage in Athens, we had started to set up the Olympic Village as an ambush. Unfortunately, site security surprised the terrorists before we were ready. Newcastle and his men took security personnel prisoner, then fell back and locked themselves in the closest building, the convention center. We now have a situation in which the terrorists are trapped in the convention center with an unknown number of hostages. Because of Rainbow's record and experience in dealing with Newcastle's group, we've been asked to neutralize him and rescue the hostages. This mission will take exceptional teamwork and absolute precision. We need to stop Newcastle for good, and this is the best chance we're going to get. The good news is that only Olympic security was involved in the firefight. The bad news is that two of them were killed and an unknown number taken hostage. Newcastle himself is in on this one, which makes things a little more difficult. His record with SAS was dirty, but what he did, he did very well. The guy is sharp, fast and good, and he knows how to place his people. Watch your back on this one. He's a sneaky son of a gun. We won't get any better chance to take him down. Objective completed. 